That light on your dashboard may be your only warning that temperatures are low enough for the potential of ice or slick spots on roads. Take a look at this police video of a vehicle driving over a patch of nearly invisible ice. The two occupants of this vehicle suffering only minor injuries thanks to their seatbelts. So if there was ever a time when slow and steady wins the race applies, it's in this case where you have the potential to lose traction. Jennifer Stockberger oversees operations at Consumer Reports Auto Test Center and says it's important that everyone know how to drive in freezing conditions. Everything in slick conditions takes longer. So leave yourself that room. It not only gives you that room, but protects you from other drivers who may not be driving appropriately. Think your four-wheel or all-wheel drive will help on black ice? Think again. All vehicles have four-wheel brakes, and it's actually your car's anti-lock brakes that can help you safely regain control and stop. You'll know the anti-lock brakes are working when they start to pulse against your foot. Do not remove your foot from the brake. Maintain firm pressure on the pedal and let them do their job. And if your car does begin to slide, here's the best way to regain control. There's really two kinds of skids, oversteer and understeer. In both cases, the reaction should be to turn in the direction you want to go. With oversteer, it's very intuitive. You turn into the skid. When you gain grip, you end up going where you want to go. In understeer, you're turning, but the car is going straight ahead, and your gut is to want to dial in more steering. Don't do that. Keep the wheel steady where you're headed so that when you gain grip, you're going where you want to be. In both cases, avoid abrupt motions. And don't forget tires properly inflated with good traction. Tires can often make the difference when winter weather is at its worst. Mike Cherry, KCRA 3 News. Newer cars with advanced safety features can also help you avoid an accident, but they can only work properly if they are clear of snow, salt, ice, and mud.